Thanks for joining us on this edition of Shop Talk. Um, we're here with uh, Scott Brown, and I kind of wanted to go over the pressure wash um, on this on this particular drill here. This is a 2022. Now I know Scott. There's a specific sequence that we have to follow, but let's start from the beginning and just set this thing up. And how would I set this up? And and uh, let's go from there. I know since I joined uh, Vermeer Southeast, you've drilled in my head that you know 80% of the preventative maintenance is keeping this bad boy clean, right? Yep. Um, so Correct. let's 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 go ahead and start with that. And how do we set this up? All right. Well, first off, you probably got some mud or polymer or something in your mix tank. So you don't want to wash it down with that. Okay. We have an antifreeze tank that's built on. Uh, most time in Georgia or Florida, wherever, we're not antifreezing very much. Right. So during the summer, when we're, we don't need antifreeze, we can just put fresh water in this tank. Okay. All right. To run out of that tank, first we want to put our cap on, just put like we were, just, just like we were antifreezing, and open our valve open to our tank here. here. And what this does yep. is it cracks um, from the from the tank. So if we didn't turn that on we could pull um, from the tank our, on our truck, yeah. but you're saying that if they have any kind of additives or mud or anything, we don't want to be you spraying that. that on. You want to do sure. mostly uh, fresh water. So yep. we crack that here and then that water will be draining out of that tank. Um, and then th we attach the other end of the, the wash quick coupler here. on the pressure side of the pump. Okay. Quick, quick connect there. Pretty yep. easy. Okay. Just snap it in. Good deal. So let's go over, I guess the, um, the sequence on the front of the drill. Uh, to turn this on and maybe some of the things we can kind of keep clean and what we should be washing when we're doing, you know, setting up our pressure wand. All right, Scott, um, let's go over the sequence. I've been getting a kind of calls from people. That's a little bit of a confusing thing on the sequence, but on this 2022, what do we have to do to turn this pressure washer on here? All right, the first thing with the 2022, and a lot of them are different, you just have to check and it's in the manual. The vice has to be open. Okay. You got your machine running, the hydraulics enabled, you, you're not in the seat. It's real simple. You turn on your water, go over to your keypad and hit your wash wand drill head switch. You'll see the wash wand icon Woo. come up and then there you go. You ready to go? Yeah, baby. What are, this? what are some of the elements that we really need to be keeping clean on this drill rig to, when we're using our pressure washer? All right, the main thing we want to clean is the in front of the vise, the vise, the rack, and the rod loader arms. That's the main, the key items that we want to keep washed off every day. So there's that 80% you're yep. always talking That's about. That's 80% of the main. Yep. Cool, man. I really appreciate you showing us this. Um, thank you guys for joining us on this uh, edition of Shop Talk. Um, it might seem simple, but uh, this is a huge thing um, in keeping these bad boys running. So behalf of everybody here from the Southeast. Have a safe and productive day.